Hey everyone! So, uh, yeah, this month we're giving away two copies of Skyward Sword HD, which I think is appropriate to bring up now. And yes, there is a link uh, and, and an explanation on that giveaway down in the description. We will draw the winners before Skyward Sword HD comes out on July 16th. But it's, it's worth bringing that giveaway up, which obviously we bring up, you know, in most videos until we're done with it. Uh, because today we're talking about Skyward Sword HD. Uh, in fact, we're talking about some improvements that are supposedly happening to Skyward Sword HD what improvements they could make, and why we think Nintendo might actually be making improvements to this game beyond what's already announced, because uh, I'm sitting here, I have the official website open, at least the Nintendo UK official website, and it makes a claim on it that has not been announced. So let's talk about that. Hey folks, so I'm sitting here on the official website at nintendo.co.uk slash game slash Nintendo Switch slash The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD, bunch of numbers, that HTML, link down in the description. Uh, but I'm going to throw this up for you in a moment here because there's a section on the website called The Classic Adventure Redefined. And it m talks about something that hasn't been announced. So first off, let's just look at it here. So it says The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD takes the classic quest and optimizes it for the Nintendo Switch, improving the experience in a number of ways, including enhanced performance. Okay, it, it does go to uh, 1080p and 60fps, so there you go with that. Improved motion controls with the Joy-Con controllers. Yup, they did talk about that, although we haven't really seen uh, what that improved motion really is, they did claim that that exists. All new button controls, allowing you to choose your style of play. Yup, they did talk about that already. Now here's one that's interesting. Various quality of life enhancements including refinements to player tutorials and general guidance throughout the adventure. Now, one quality of life improvement we know is about the warping, which people argue, is it really an improvement? Is it not an improvement? It is because uh, you can obviously, uh, in, in a game that you have upgrades and stuff, it's easier to farm materials by just instantly being able to teleport, but it's locked behind an amiibo, and we've talked about that before. We're not going to rehash that whole thing because it is a quality of life improvement it's just one that isn't that big of a deal uh it only feels like a big deal because there haven't been other quality of life improvements talked about and this claims that there's several of them at least you know enhanced mints so you know multiple uh including refinements of player tutorials which we haven't seen uh and general guidance throughout the adventure and I, I i'm curious like what improvements can be made to discover sort hg to make it better and none of these things have been announced this game comes out in less than a month I mean, what are we, it, it, it's the 21st right now, so are we like three weeks away? Three and a half weeks away? Like, we're really close to Skyward Sword HD coming, and we don't know what any of these supposed uh, quality of life enhancements are. Uh, there, there's things I can think of. Uh, as an example, uh, you know, maybe fee fi fo fum can just not talk as much. Uh, I love that character, by the way. It's one of my favorite characters in the series, and she's a very important one, especially in regards to the Master Sword. But sometimes she says things that she doesn't have to say. As an example, letting us know what a green rupee is every time we pick up a green rupee. I don't need to know that. I also don't need to you know, save the game, load it back up, and then have it tell me again what a green rupee is. Like There is a lot of repetitive stuff like that that you can't skip. Uh, and it's very annoying, and thankfully doesn't happen in Breath of the Wild. So I'm hoping that they learn from what they did in future Zelda games, or Zelda game in this case, and you know actually improve that part of the game. It would just be nice to not have to be told what every single thing is every single time I pick it up. If I want to know, I can go into my inventory. Like if I forgot, I can go into my inventory, should be able to select it, and it should be able to tell me what it is and what it does, rather than having to have it explained to me every single time you pick it up in the overworld. Um, there's other things as well, dousing. Uh, dousing was not very fun. It wasn't very fun in the original game, and I don't think it's gonna be very fun in this game, even with potential improvements. It reminds me of things like, you know, when you had the, the Triforce hunting quest in The Wind Waker. Or you have things like, uh, you know, the, the Tears of Light stuff in Twilight Princess. It's tedious, it's not enjoyable. There's nothing about dousing that is fun, and, and I think that's a missed opportunity for what dousing does. Now, I'm not going to dive too deep into what dousing is in Skyward Sword because, again, I don't want to spoil too much of this game for first-time players, but it is something that I feel like should have improvements to it to at least, if not quicken it, uh, at least try to make it a little bit more enjoyable and less tedious. 
Uh, but again, they haven't announced anything, but it's something that I feel like they could touch upon in this game. Uh, and then you obviously have uh, the, the other times when um, you're kind of sneaking around and you're trying to avoid these giant guardians. Uh, I find this to be actually be quite enjoyable, but also can be a bit tedious. Uh, maybe there's some ways they can find to improve that. I don't want necessarily want to be made easier. So don't take me saying that it's tedious to saying, hey, make this part of the game easier. But I do think it's something that uh, can be looked into to try to make it more engage engaging and fun. Uh, so yeah, that's just a few things off the top of my head. There's obviously other quality of life improvements they could look into. Uh, they, they could look into um, you know how we improve weapons and stuff and weapon upgrades and maybe add something to the game and we add some sort of ability or some new uh, item to the game. Uh, they did this in uh, you know in other ways in other games. Uh, in obviously the Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD seem to get more significant improvements than Skyward Sword HD so far from what's been announced. Uh, quick sale, obviously that really helped things uh, along in uh, the Wind Waker HD. And obviously they ended up adding something really intuitive in the Wind Waker HD in specific, where yes, they eliminated the Tingle Tuner, which eliminated the entire Tingle quest line, which that sucked because it was a really fun part of the game. I feel like they could have just reworked it to make it more doable on, on uh, Wii U at the time. But uh, instead we got like message bottles, which... Yeah, there's no real point to them. It's just, you know, your friends putting messages in bottles and having them float, and you can pick them up and read those messages. Uh, and and it, it, it doesn't mean much, but it was kind of fun. I got to admit, I kind of miss those message bottles. One reason why I want the, the Wind Waker HD to come back is because of them. So, yeah, I honestly, uh, th there's a number of things, and I'm sure all you Skyward Sword veterans out there like me can come up with numerous other quality of life improvements that could just make Skyward Sword a bit tighter and a bit better. Uh, you know, enemy AI, we could talk about that, and maybe in some cases could be slightly improved. I don't know if they're going to touch that, because that requires a bit more reworking, I think, than they're putting into this game. But it's interesting that the, the Nintendo.co.uk website talks about these sort of quality of life enhancements, um, you know, for tutorials and guidance throughout the adventure, when we have zero announcements on what these quality of life improvements are. I don't get it. I, I, I simply don't get it. I don't get what they're talking about, and I don't get why we don't know what these things are yet. Again, we're like three and a half weeks from having this game in our hands, and Nintendo UK is claiming there's more quality of life improvements to Skyward Sword HD than has been actually publicly talked about. I, I'm confused. I thought for sure at E3, if there was going to be like a big quality of life improvement, they would have actually talked about it, but they didn't. They just advertised the game at E3. They didn't really talk about any new features or any uh, anything we didn't already know. So... I, I'm kind of tepid to think that maybe the Nintendo UK website is uh, overselling the actual enhancements and improvements to the game. And potentially, I don't know if it's lying to you, but maybe pretending that some things are quality of life improvements that maybe aren't. Or maybe it's reiterating and overselling uh, enhance, uh, like other things like the control differences, the improvements that were mentioned in other bullet points, and they're kind of just restating those as quality of life improvements. Uh, again, I, I don't know. We don't have the game in front of us, but I do find it weird that we, if there is these sort of major quality of life improvements, then we don't know about them yet. And then we're not going to find out about them until the game gets here. Now, for something that like improved dowsing, to be clear, we didn't know about the improved Tears of Light until I think like two days before the game came out, when previews came out. So it's possible there is something that could be improved to something like dowsing that we're not going to hear about until previews. But I, I still, like... There's been a lot of chastising towards Skyward Sword HD and not being as good of a HD remastering or reimagining or whatever you want to call it as Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker HD because there seems to be less changes or less quality of life improvements. There definitely doesn't seem to be new content. So if there are quality of life improvements, I think it might be good to get it out there for the public. But hey, the UK website's claiming it exists. So now we just have to wait, I guess, until well, I don't know, July 16th when it's in our hands to really know what the hell is going on with these quality of life improvements, and if we even notice them. That's another thing. We haven't played Skyward Sword in, you know, a decade, so we'll see what happens. All right, folks, I am Nathaniel Robin Jans from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.